for the first exercise, you're not even going to need a computer. Instead, you're going to be simulating programming a robot. And it's a robot that can obey the following commands. It can pick up one object, and only one object. It can put down the object it's currently holding. It can turn clockwise 90 degrees. Or it can turn counterclockwise 90 degrees. And it can take one step forward. So these are the commands that are available to the robot. The task that you're going to have the robot perform is to switch the position of these two books so that the one that is on top ends up on the bottom and the one that was on the bottom ends up on the top. The provisos are that, again, you can pick up only one object at a time, you can't put anything on the floor, and the books have to be in the same position on the table where they began. So if when you're done, they end up over here, or they end up over here, the task hasn't been accomplished properly. The robot starts facing the books standing right in front of them. This is a solvable problem, and please don't try and do this in your head. If you're wondering how to start it, my suggestion is you take a couple of books and try moving them around physically to get an idea of what the robot has to do. If you're stuck on where to begin, here's something you might figure out. Well, which commands can I do? I can't take one step forward or I'll fall over the table. I could turn clockwise or I could turn counterclockwise, but that's not going to help me any because I still haven't gotten any closer to my goal. So it looks like the only thing I can do to start moving closer to the goal is to pick up the book. So that would be the first step in my program. So I'd write down the word up. And by the way, you don't have to write a whole phrase. You can make them shorter. So instead of writing pick up, just write up, down. You can write this as CW, CCW, and step. So that's the task. Give it a try, and you'll see the solution that I came up with in the next video. Don't worry about your solution being ultra-efficient or the shortest possible number of steps. What you want to do is you want to make sure that the books are in this position at the start and the top and bottom are reversed back where they started when you're done with the task. So go for it.